Well, a new generation of Democratic leaders starting to take shape in Congress with current House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other key figures stepping down. House Democrats already have their eyes set on who's next. Representatives Hakeem Jeffries, Pete Aguilar, and Catherine Clark with Jeffries just announcing his bid to lead House Dems. Michael Schnell, House reporter with our partners at The Hill, joins us live. Uh, Michael, you know, Democrats quickly rallying around Jeffries. Do you think we'll see any possible challenge to him? Nicole, I don't think it's likely, and that's for a couple reasons. First off, and the number one reason, is because Hakeem Jeffries was widely seen as the likely successor to Speaker Pelosi as the leader of the Democratic Caucus. He's currently in Democratic leadership, serving as chair of the House Democratic Caucus. He holds a weekly press conference with reporters where he talks about where the caucus, what the caucus has been doing. So he's a very well-known figure within the party. Another point that's important to make was uh, just yesterday, even before Jeffries has announced, even before uh, Speaker Pelosi had said that she was stepping down, Congressman, Congresswoman Joyce Bates Beatty, who is the chairwoman of the uh, very important Congressional Black Caucus, said she would not be surprised if the entire caucus went behind Jeffries and supported Jeffries as the next Democratic leader, which was really a significant development. So again, uh, Hakeem Jeffries was widely seen as a successor to Pelosi, and he's likely to glide to that position. Well, let's, let's uh, talk about somebody else who's stepping down, Jim Clyburn. Uh, he's currently number three Democrat in Congress, but it says even though he's stepping down, he still wants to stay in a leadership position. So how would that work? So Jim Clyburn is the sing only member of the big three, the big three being Pelosi, Hoyer, and Clyburn, who's going to actually remain in Democratic leadership in the next Congress. Just this morning, he announced that he would be running for assistant Democratic leader, which is the fourth position in Democratic leadership. And this sort of did uh, move around some things. We saw some musical chairs, if you would. Uh, Pete Aguilar, who just this morning announced that he's running for chair of the House Democratic Caucus, he was initially eyeing that assistant leader job. Uh, but then once word came out that Clyburn was running for that position, he decided not to challenge Clyburn. And as I said, he's now running for chair of the House Democratic Caucus. So Clyburn's decision to remain in leadership, which was different from, you know, his two, the two that he had served with, Pelosi and Hoyer, it did cause a little bit of musical chairs, but that's all been taken care of. And right now, all those top four remain on a, uh, but actually the one, the one interesting part there is that with Aguilar running for chair of the House Democratic Caucus, it puts him in a race against Congressman Joe Neguse, a Democrat from Colorado, who last week had announced that he was running for chair of the House Democratic Caucus. Uh, it remains to be seen if Neguse will receive stay in the race and take on Pete Aguilar, who has already been endorsed by Pelosi, Clyburn, and Hoyer. But that's definitely something to keep an eye on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, yesterday at Rush Hour, uh, we, we talked about what, what's on Republicans' to-do list now that they have that narrow House majority. But, but what are Democrats focused on? It's going to be tough, Nicole, because when Democrats don't control the majority in the House, they don't have the ability to set the agenda. The majority party sets the agenda in the House, which means that Republicans will be deciding what bills make it to the floor and what measures lawmakers vote on. That's going to make it difficult for Democrats to bring up issues that Republicans don't agree with. Um, one area, though, that will likely be a focus that Chairman that uh, uh, Chairman Jeffries mentioned in his letter announcing his campaign for uh, leader of the Democratic Caucus is lawmaker security, which really became a large focus after uh, the husband of Speaker Pelosi, Paul Pelosi, was brutally attacked at the couple's home back uh, last month in San Francisco. Chairman Jeffries, in his letter, said that he wants to create a task force for member security that will solicit information from members, figure out what's working in terms of their security and what's not working, and then come up with a list of legislative and executive proposals to bolster member security. So that's definitely and will likely be a focus of the Democrats uh, going forward in the next Congress. Yeah, that's certainly uh, under understandable on that one. Okay, Michael, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.